Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Abyss. Now the Abyss is one of my favourite things to do in EVE at the moment. I've been having a blast with the Abyss, trying to work out different fits, trying different techniques, doing the different um, weathers that you get in the Abyss and generally I've been having a lot of fun with it. Now as I pointed out in my hoarding video I have a tendency to kind of hold on to stuff and no different in the abyss here now there are some interesting things happening in the market at the moment so small disintegration had dropped quite considerably or has been dropping quite considerably it was estimated at 80 it's just had a bit of a bump up so we're back in the 90s which is quite a nice little bump there uh, the medium disintegrations have dropped dramatically and then steadily and are continuing to fall although we seem to have stabilized somewhat now oh yeah here's an interesting one so the um the unstable 500s estimated at 90 million isk here if we go into the view price the <laughs> price is down at 15 million isk these have literally dropped off the side of a cliff at the moment they were selling um at around about 75 up to almost 100 million and they have, as I said, dropped right off down to 15 million isk, which is quite a quite an incredible drop, really. And as we can see here on the market, there are loads of them ready to be sold. So all in all, the items that you get from the abyss can generally be sold quite easily, other than the odd discrepancy with prices there straight in jitter so you you get them back to jitter and again the demand for them is usually quite high and other than so say holding on to some of the multi plasmids which sometimes sell easily and sometimes take a bit longer um, they do sell very very well however we come to the problem that we get with the triglavian survey and this problem or I won't say a problem, but it, it's a bit of a quandary of whether you sell it straight to the market and let somebody else haul it for you and take the loss, or whether you sell it yourself and obviously don't pay a middleman. So at the moment I have 13.258 billion ISKs worth of these data sheets here. And as I said, I could sell these directly to the market at the moment. They're selling for 96.53 give or take so I could sell them straight to the market but I am obviously going to lose out because I could haul them and make a hundred thousand isk per unit here now obviously it's only three and a half thousand isk per unit but that could be quite substantial so first and foremost we need to work out how much it's going to cost us if I was to sell it straight off now obviously we just set it 96.5 I can't just do an immediate because there isn't enough here initially to tell me how much it would be so it's only coming out with 2.1 billion so I'm gonna to have to do this manually as such so that's roughly the cost we're gonna be getting and so that will give us 12 seven nine seven four six four seven zero minus the sales tax because I would doing it be doing it as an immediate sale so you don't pay the broker tax it's quite important so that gives us 12 0.5 billion isk now if we were to sell it obviously if we were to transport it and then sell it at a hundred thousand how much would that be so 32750000 minus the sales tax 2829357 so 12.9 so 12509521 equals 450 million isk that I will potentially save if I was to haul that myself. Now the issue that we start to get here is at the moment through the abyssal stuff I am making give or take 500 mil an hour and to take this off to one of the stations it is 16 jumps yeah 16 jumps will take roughly 16 minutes then I've got the hassle of selling it all and then 16 on the way back so it's going to take me 45 minutes um, and basically I could earn the 450 million isk in that amount of time 
So is it worth actually running to drop it off? Now obviously the biggest issue I generally find there is it's not time that's the problem. I don't mind spending 30 minutes to uh, potentially save the 450 million ISK. However, I do have the potential that I could be ganked and it would be in a covert ops blockade runner that I would be doing this in. But they do obviously get ganked from time to time and some people will take random pot shots at them. Now the biggest general issue is when you jump through a gate there can often be NPCs um, around the gate and this can stop you cloaking or if somebody is very good they can obviously decloak you with a fast moving ship or whether if you're just unlucky and they're relatively close to you so there's lots of ifs buts and maybes with this and again the point comes back is it worth 450 million isk so I don't care whose book you're in 450 million isk is a decent amount and Obviously I'd like to save that, but if I do get ganked on route, obviously I lose all of it. Now I could potentially do it in two two um, goes, but obviously that's going to cost me even more in time. And as so I say, I could earn that back by doing the Abyss runs themselves. So, yeah, I think the best course of action for this is I am just going to sell it straight on the market. So in the past I have actually run these up um, to the NPC stations to get rid of them. I've put buy orders in and uh, move them myself. The volume has dropped. They uh, divided it by, a t they, it's a tenth of the volume that it used to be. So basically it used to take up a whole blockade runner. Where now obviously you can not have expanded cargo um, items or modules on it in order to be able to fit. Because that would have been a hundred. Uh, 10,000 M3 where obviously now it's only a thousand so yeah that does make transporting it a little easier and again I'm in two minds whether to to run it up or not so after giving it a bit of thought it's quarter to ten at night here so I really can't be bothered so let's just sell it on so I'll make somebody at least some money checking the price make sure it's not dropped substantially again I did check here there are buy orders for more than enough let's just get rid of it so there we go we're up to 45 bill that's quite nice so yeah again it's weighing it up whether it's worth it now obviously to some people it is worth it um, <laughs> again it's, it's it's hard to quantify and as I said it wasn't really worth it there after we worked it out it was just as easy for me to sell it on I'm not going to be transporting huge quantities and it's a huge amount of risk to be running around in, in your cargo hold um, of a ship that is potentially a bit of a gank magnet if you um, are in the wrong place at the wrong time so while we're here we are on a trig which is quite handy because thermal trigger units have been doing some weird and wonderful stuff and if we I was fortunate or enough to sell 1.8 billion isks worth of thermal trigger units this morning yeah this morning it is this morning yep um, they'd been on the market for a good amount of time I'd been sat waiting for them to sell a lot of people ask me what I do with my orders and again I have covered this in previous videos but it never hurts to go over it again and basically when I put an order on I don't often change it and as you can see here we are down to some of them at 14 days now uh, these have changed so that was at 40 that's now set at 32 so this is probably more than likely going to drop back into my hangar and I'll wait for the price to you know, continue going down by the looks of it but again I'll hold on to it I'll wait till the price goes back up it's a faction items so hopefully sooner or later they'll go back up but all in all I don't bother changing a lot of my um, buy orders or sell orders um, unless it's something I am actively trying to get hold of so at the moment for instance I am after ranging dark filaments so I am actively updating my buy orders on this in order to be able to acquire as many as I currently want but for the trigger unit here I hadn't change this I put it on quite a while ago at 26 and if we look at the graph we can see that 26 uh, wasn't all that long ago but I, I must have been there for a good month and a half I can't remember the video that I did when I, I made them but it's, it's there somewhere but somebody randomly or 
decisively bought up 300 thousand units now obviously you can see that spike is absolutely huge that's the biggest we've had in a year so i personally think they were trying to manipulate the market because if you look here when this first spiked earlier today unfortunately i was working so i didn't have time to record but they i'm assuming it's they um, basically put on orders back on at 45k and the reason I think that they are relisted at 45k or just around when you're trying to manipulate the market you want it to look like you're not trying to manipulate a market and the best way of doing that is putting on numerous sell orders once you've bought out all the stock and this person potentially if it is the same person wasn't very subtle because you see here there's what well, they were minutes between it all so these four orders here were all put on pretty much at the same time and as you can see they're all pretty much in line yes they're different quantities but that's a round quantity none of these have had anything bought from them um and again they all went on at the same time this person potentially could have been a different person and yeah we've got new orders going on now and there's different ways of manipulating the market whether this was manipulation or somebody basically bought out the entire market and people with stock in their hangar decided to jump on and list it as it was. You see, I've got I've got 18,000 sat in my hangar at the moment. Um, but I will cover this in a different video, but basically there are different ways of manipulation and potentially this may have been like a brute force way of trying to manipulate the market. And that is literally where you go in, you buy everything, and then relist it for a higher price and just hope that you can sell it before the other people get in on the action. And I did this with coprocessor 2s at the start of the year. I say at the start of the year, you can't actually see it anymore, unfortunately. But if there's a graph on Adam 3, I'll try and look it up. But I bought out all the coprocessor 2s at in January of last year. Yeah, last year. Um, and that was because they were selling under what they were currently being built for. So I brute forced the fact that I bought them all up. I think I bought four and a half thousand. I used to have the BPO of this. So um, I know roughly how well they sell and how easy they are to get rid of. They don't sell particularly quickly, but they don't sell particularly badly. So if you can see, there's what, just over 500 sold per day. So the fact that they were under per, um, build cost at the time, it seemed a reasonable... Uh, assumption that I could buy out the market, relist it, and I wouldn't necessarily be undercut, or they wouldn't be undercut from the point where I bought them from, because obviously people would then be losing money. How wrong was I? Who on earth would build under uh, production cost? <laughs> Things have changed. I did manage to get rid of them all, and I did make quite a tidy profit from it, but if it had been in the current market we're in now, then I wouldn't suggest doing that at all, because obviously we have previously noted that people are quite happy to sell under build cost um, but at the time I'd only just got back to the game and it seemed uh, they, they, they were unreasonably low so again I bought them all out and again I would class that as a as a brute force way of manipulating the market there are other ways of manipulating the market we can do it more subtly slowly drive up the price so you don't get these huge spikes of stuff being sold because again it's not particularly subtle when all of a sudden um, a, a massive quantity gets bought out so I hope that was interesting I hope I gave you a bit of an idea of some of the process and thoughts that I go through when setting up sell orders and when I'm considering selling stuff on the market directly um, if you haven't subscribed then please do think about it it's very much appreciated and I look forward to talking to you soon